What's up, y'all? Um, this is a video that I titled Beauty Standards Ruin God's Beauty. And um, at a young, as a young girl growing up in the society, beauty standards has really um, made me super insecure, made me feel like no matter what weight I was, what I look like, how much makeup I wore, that I was never enough. Um, you scroll endlessly on Instagram and TikTok um, multiple times. You start to compare yourself to every girl you see on there, um, every IG model, even your friends. Um, you, you compare yourself to every angle and you kind of get looped up into that. You know, you're constantly looped up into it. And that is why I deleted Instagram just because I was like, I don't need this. Um, there was a lot of other reasons I deleted Instagram, but that was definitely one of the reasons. And... Um, growing up, as I got in closer to God, I realized how beauty standards ruined what God originally said was beautiful to him. And of course, the devil takes something that God made to be innocent um, and beautiful and he perverts it and makes it his own thing. And that is beauty standards. We have beauty standards in different parts of the country. You know, I'm in LA, so here being tan and curvy is the beauty standard. Um, but if you go to like places like Asia, you have to be like pale. They, they even have like widening cream and like stick skinny. You go to all different parts of the of the world and your ethnicity could make you more attractive um just little things like that which is crazy and it, you always feel like you're never enough and lately i've been battling with that demon of comparing myself um to girls online and to feeling like i'll never find a guy to really want me because nowadays they most men follow all of these ig models most men have only fans and it puts a lot of doubt in my heart and it discourages me but as i was getting closer to god recently god really exposed that part to me um, that showed me that to not be discouraged and to have faith that no matter what the world says is beautiful is that his beauty standard never changes and his beauty standard has to do with our heart and I know people are like oh it's not about what's on the outside it's, it's about what's on the inside and it sounds like super shallow and like cliche and it's been said over and over again but it's never actually like you know well done it's never actually um I guess um, portrayed in the world but with God you know in the Bible when when he was picking out who was going to be the next king he said don't look for the appearance of the man but look at for I look at the heart I am not like human where I look at what at the outside but I look at the inside and as cliche as that may sound that is the truth of God's word and it, it's so sad to me that we live in a society where girls are more concerned with what they look like than their character and their morals. Girls are more concerned with um, how a certain outfit fits them than how they actually are able to maintain a situation. How are they actually able to have good morals and good values in this life? It's really sad that this is the kind of society we live in. And I could just imagine if we lived in a world, world where we were more obsessed with character than with status and looks. Like, think about that for a second. Imagine a world where we were more obsessed with the person's heart and with our character than we cared about the shallowness of things. Then we cared about a girl's a body type or a guy's body type or his height. I think people would, would definitely work more on their heart and their self-growth than they do spending hours at the gym. Or spending hours buying, obsessing over clothes and in materialistic things. And there's nothing wrong with going to the gym or wanting to look fresh. I have nothing against that. I just came back from the gym right now. But I think the way we go about it needs to be looked at differently. Because nowadays, I see girls at the gym like half naked. Literally wearing their bras and like little short shorts. Like showing everything to for a guy just to lust after them. Because guys are guys. Let's just be honest. They're, they're going to look at you. And more girls there are, look, are, are, are there for the wrong reasons. They're just there to look good, to, to look like IG models, um, to try their best to, um, I don't know, get a certain guy because a certain guy only wants a girl with these requirements. But we're not doing it to be healthy and to honor God with our body. And I had to remind myself of that today. I, was, I haven't been going to the gym for a while. I'm, tr I'm trying to get back into it. Um, but I, I, 
I was like doing some squats and I found myself um, having a heart check where I was like, oh my gosh, like I really want like these nice legs. Like I want like this nice butt. Like I want to look better. Um, but then God c- quickly convicted me of that where it's like, why do you want those things? Like you're here. Those are the, yeah, of course, those are great benefits. You get stronger, but you're here because you are seeking to honor me because you know that your body is my temple. And I could just imagine the health of our society and how much we wouldn't have eating disorders because I've definitely developed and I'm still healing from it is an eating disorder. I could just imagine the health of our society if we looked at life that way, if we seek to honor God with our physical appearance, with our bodies and we we hit the gym, we ate, we ate healthier, not for the sake of losing weight, but for the sake of honoring him. It's so sad, like even the growth of BBLs, of plastic surgery, it's growing more and more every single day. I see all these influencers with these fake bodies. And sadly, young girls look at that and want that kind of figure as well because they think that that is where their worth lies. But then you meet those influencers or those people and you realize how no matter how beautiful they make themselves, There's a hole in their hearts that will never be filled and they will always be insecure because in reality, there will always be someone that looks better than you or there will always be beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So someone might think you're the most beautiful girl in the world, but there will be another guy that won't think that because he probably has a different, you know, kind of beauty center in in his eyes. And I wish and I pray Um, That we would be more concerned with God's beauty standard than with the world's beauty standard. Because, you know, the beauty standard of the world, it changes mindless. It changes every single day. It really depends on the kind of guy you're dating to and where he comes from. Trust me, dating guys outside my race, I've seen their different levels of beauty standards. And it's been very hurtful as well. Um, But... If we focus fully on just our beauty, on the on the world world's beauty standards, it's never going to be enough because there will always be someone that has a different standard than you do. That's just the truth. And it will never be enough. It will never fulfill you. And what's beautiful about God is that he doesn't use something that, because obviously our outer appearance, we didn't really get a choice for the most part. You know, we we're born with the certain ethnicity that God gave us, certain eye color, skin color, hair color. We had no choice. So the fact that people around us use those things against us is really sad. But with God, when it comes to our hearts, see, God looks at our hearts and he's fair in that way where he looks at the beauty of our heart because he knows that we can control control our, our character. We can control how our heart perceives a situation. And that's what's beautiful about God is that He looks at something that we can control and something that will last forever. The Bible says that charm is deceitful and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. It says that beauty will fade away. It's going to leave you one day and there will be another girl that's going to look better than you because, you know, young girls are growing up every single day. There's plenty of new 21 year old girls every single day. Um. So those things will fade, will fade away. But what really matters is if you fear the Lord with all your heart. Do you love him? Do you focus on him? Do you work on, on your character more than you work on your physical appearance? What are you idolizing in your life? Are you idolizing beauty standards? And I'm, I'm seeing this for myself too. Are you idolizing beauty standards or are you going to allow God to show you what real beauty is? Are you going to allow God to heal your perception of what you even thought was beautiful? Are you going to allow God to, to, to change the inside of you and heal you from any shallow shallowness that, the, that um, the world has placed you in? Are you going to allow God to do that for you? Are you going to look at a man just because he's tall and he's he's built and handsome? Or are you going to look at a man for what his soul really reflects? And does he really love God with his life? What are his fruits? Are you going to stay shallow in that way? And I know physical attraction is important. There's nothing wrong with that. But ask God that he would change your type. That your type would be his type. That your type would be what God said approves of, approves of, not what your friends or your buddies approve of, but what God approves of. Yeah, because there could be plenty of beautiful women and and your buddies may may give you a slap on the wrist, but does God approve of that, of that woman? 
Does God approve of that man? Or is he someone you just want to show off to your family? Who is this guy? What are his characteristics? Does he love the Lord? Because if he's shallow the way that you are shallow, and he is going to leave you for the next attractive girl that there is. Because eventually, there has to be something, something more than physical attraction holding you guys together. And that has to be come from God. And that's something I learned recently. And it wasn't a lesson I wanted to learn, but I think it was a lesson that I needed to learn. And God won't, you know, in life, he, it's going to be hard. You're going to get hurt. But God will always bring you things to teach you something new. Even if it brought probably no good fruit in your life, if you bring it to God, God will take the bad fruit of it and turn it into good fruit because he just does stuff like that. He's, he's a, he makes the impossible possible. So take it to God. But yeah, beauty standards ruins God's beauty. Remember that, y'all. Let go of, the, of, of modern evil beauty standards. Let go of it. And ask God, how can I be beautiful to you, Lord? How can I be attractive in your eyes? Because your soul is going to outweigh and outgrow your beauty. And that's just the truth. So, yeah, y'all. Let me know your thoughts. I'm out.